around and finally shot Zipper. You know, but I must say, you make an extremely handsome trophy. <laughs> Zipper, you're done bad again, you know. Holland's going to be very mad when he sees it. Zipper, we need an ex... Zipper! Zipper, we need an explanation! Yeah, well, see, what happened was I was hammering this nail into the wall, and some plaster fell off. And then I got real angry, so I chucked the nail away and I started hammering even harder. I guess that's how they make holes. <laughs> you and me will go out to the garage, we'll get a little of the leftover plaster. Got some leftover from when you ran your car through the rec room wall. I remember that. What's new? I've had all that I can stand of your jack nasty pranks. What's the Kia? Oh, margarina! You! You all right? Do I look all right? Right, Mary Lee. You! You're responsible for this outrage. Harlan, I'm sorry, okay? It was an accident. Mary Lee, come here, let me help you. Come on, let me help you. Let me help you here. Come on. You have just ruined my original copy. Harlan, will you do something, please? I'm standing here half naked. Oh, my. Oh, my. <laughs> Colin, dear, I am your woman, am I not? Oh, of course, there's none other in my life since Julie Nixon married. <laughs> Good. Colin, I have just been laughed at, humiliated, and disrobed, and I demand that you defend my honor. What? Colin. <laughs> Are you going to stand up for my rights? Or are you a coward? Coward? Is that what you think of me, Mary Lee? Well, hurt me to the quick, why don't you? <laughs> I'm going to have to show you what I'm really made of. Ronald? Yes, Harlan? You leave me no choice. I challenge you to a manly contest. Okay, Harlan, anything you want. Uh, let's see, shuffleboard, badminton, um... Jacks. <laughs> Take your pick. You are, Callan. <laughs> Fisticuffs, Ronald. Tonight in the gym. <laughs> Fisticuffs? Like in boxing? Like, you and me in a ring, and I get to hit you as hard as I want to, and nobody stops me? And I don't get expelled? Thank you, Lord. I accept. I accept. That was wonderful. I just love a man who knows his own mind. Ah, that doctor's a fool. Been exercising a whole year and haven't lost a pound yet. <laughs> I think that I shall never see a fighter rich and suave as me. <laughs> Young Republican boxing champion? What a man! Oh, silly me. I forgot that I wore this robe. Oh, well. As long as it's out in the open, though, George, we might as well put it right over there where everybody can see it. Thanks, Harlan. Boy, what an honor. Forget it, Zip. Forget it. Nobody in their right mind is going to bet on Harlan, let alone these guys. You want to bet? Just stand aside and watch an artist at work. Yeah, but Zip, Zip, where did you get the money to bet in the beginning anyway? I got it. Don't worry. I'm worried. Just watch me handle these suckers. Oh, George. Hey, Zipper, how about a little wager on the fight? We'll bet uh, everything we got on Harlan. Am I the greatest or am I the greatest? <laughs> You're on, George. Come on, line up, suckers. <laughs> Ronald's hind quarters will be on a limb when we square off in the old Crandall gym. Uh, look, Harlan, don't you think you should be uh, 
Making up your will instead of poems? Oh. Well, I see you boys need a little exhibition of my pugilistic expertise. Pugilistic expertise? They're in a box. Fran? Franz, I want you to give it everything you've got. Uh, come on, you can do better than that. Oh, 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 over here. What a pity. Hope I didn't kill another one. <laughs> Heavyweight contender, my foot. <laughs> well, boys. Give my best to Ronald. <laughs> How much do you guys say you wanted to bet? <laughs> Let's go over to the gym. We'll be in the shape yeah, for Harlan, yeah. all right? Come on, come on. What? For Harlan? Harlan Ramsey? That's right. He is a piece of cake. He's rich, soft, and yellow. <laughs> Let's face it, the man's a fox. A fox. A fox. <laughs> Look, we just saw him at the gym. He was working out in the ring. I'm telling you, oh. the man's been fooling us for years. I got news for you, Ronald. He's the world heavyweight champion. <laughs> Which world? Look, check when I just saw him knock out a human water buffalo, okay? <laughs> Is he on drugs? He doesn't need him. He saw what I saw. That man was humongous. Ronald, I'm afraid you're gonna have to train, all right? Hey, whoa! Hey, what are you doing? Well, look, I'm sorry, okay? It's just a habit. You see, in my old neighborhood, when someone sneaks up on you from behind, you don't ask who it is, you know? All right, all right. Hey, okay, listen, we're sorry, too. We just wanted to make sure you were ready for the fight tonight, you know? And I think maybe we better call it off, because you're a little out of shape. Ronald Holmes out of shape. <laughs> Excuse me. Now watch. Hey, that's not bad. What are you talking about? That's not so hot. My sister could do that the hard way, singing Mabel, Mabel, set the table. <laughs> Can your sister do this? What, the laundry? <laughs> no, not since she had the baby. Good. It's been a while since the golden gloves. I'm a little rusty, but still very good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, zipper, zipper. You thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, yes, I am. Oh, George! <laughs> I got a train. But right after the room stops spinning. You mean uh, Ronald hasn't dropped out of the fight? No, no, I'm not. I'm not disappointed, George. I'm, I'm thrilled to the gills that he still wants to go through with it. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it too. Bye. Sick. <laughs> Mr. Crandall, sir. I just thought that I'd tell you, sir, that in this very ring tonight there's going to be a grudge fight taking place, sir. <laughs> yeah, so. So, sir, I completely understand if you feel that you have to cancel the bout. Son, this fight's gonna be the highlight of my week. Up to now, the only highlight I've had is watching my ex-wife gag on a frito. <laughs> sir, uh, I don't understand. A, uh, a murder might occur here tonight. Uh, you're telling me. I saw you drop that side of beef. Listen, boy, I'm gonna get some more fights for you. I mean... No, sir, don't do that, sir. Uh, I can't fight, sir. I'm a, I'm a coward, sir. Wait a minute, did I hear that right, son? You say you want to be a cowherd? No, sir, I said coward. Look, I paid that man to take a dive, and oh. believe me, he didn't come cheap either. Well, you are your father's son. I'll agree with that. <laughs> Look, you've got to understand. I am petrified to death of this fight. I put up this big heroic front, hoping that Ronald would renege, and he didn't. Well, son, seeing as you're so upset, as well as being frightened, I suppose the only thing I can do is uh, call off the fight. Wonderful idea, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh, I understand, boy. After all, you know your own capabilities. <laughs> Mr. 
Mr. Crandall, sir. Hmm. Uh, I've changed my mind. I'm going through with the fight. After all, I've got to defend Mary Lee's honor, don't I? Oh, now, hold on a minute there. I have been married five times, and ain't a woman in the world worth losing life in limpha. <laughs> well, no, it's more than that. Except for maybe that little nurse down T1 in the emergency room. She was awful cute, huh? It's more than that, sir. It's more than Mary Lee's honor. I've got to do this for myself. See, I've, I've never been in a fight before. And I have to find out once and for all whether I'm a coward or not. Well, you sure have picked one of the toughest ways I know of to find out. I don't even say that again. But you see, if I don't do this, I'll never have any self-respect. I gotta walk in that ring tonight and find out what I'm made of. And just hope it's not jello. I want you to know that when that bell goes off tonight, I will be in your corner because I really respect a man who's willing to give up his life for no reason at all. <laughs> you all right to me, boy. <laughs> Come on. Listen, let me tell you about that little nurse in Tijuana. She was, her name was Bunny. But that's my mother's name. Your mother? Does she ever come here for me? I know, but I'm late for dinner. Don't <laughs> preach. Honey bear. Holly. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Have you come to wish your gladiator good luck? No. Oh, yes. Uh, I have something I have to say to you, Holly. Early before you do, I have to say to you that I think you were absolutely right in expecting me to stand up and defend your honor. No. I made much too much out of that. I just, I just wanted to say that I'm sorry that I called you coward. I didn't mean it. And this whole thing is due to my immaturity. I want you to cancel the fight immediately. Mary Lee, I can't do that. Harlan, I said the fight is canceled. And I say, shut up and sit down, woman. Oh, my. Well, whatever you say, I... <laughs> Holmes, you're in for stormy weather. The only thing you'll eat is leather. <laughs> Thank you, Rod McEwen. Okay, boys, here are tonight's rules. If either one of you is knocked down three times in one round, you'll automatically lose and be laughed at. <laughs> I want a good, clean fight. If I don't get one, I'm leaving. <laughs> Any last-minute advice, sir? Oh, yeah. Try this for size, son. Let him get arm weary, punching you. Arm weary. Mm -hmm. Then you make your move. Huh? Any idea when that'll be, sir? Well, maybe you better think of something else. Hey, hey, hey there he is, looking good. Champ. My buddies. Glad you could make it. Where you been? Hey, at work. But don't worry, champ. Zip raised some bucks and we bet the whole thing on you. A big bet, Ronald. A big fat bet. Are you guys crazy? You bet on me? Cut out. Zip, where did you get big fat money? Uh, don't worry about it, Checo. I hate it when you say don't worry. Don't worry, we can't lose. Yes, you can. You can lose. How? We're going to throw the fight. <laughs> Ronald Holmes III, say your prayers. What? Huh? Ow! Wow, you really hit hard! <laughs> he really hit hard! Oh, come on, come on. Don't hit me down here. What? Don't hit me down here. I'll hit you where I want to hit you. Hit me on it. Hit me a bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't believe it. Come Shut on, up. Ronald, you're embarrassing me. Who? Shut up. I'm knocked out of here. Ronald, what are you doing? Will you get up? Three. 
Ramsey. Come on, Ralph. You don't want to be known as the only man to ever lose to Harlan Ramsey, do you? I can live with it. We've got everything we own on you. Look, Ronald, I don't want to have to eat out of garbage cans. I don't want to have to sleep in the street using the gutter as my pillow, all right? I can oh. live with that, too. Can you live with the fact that you're letting your friends Bye. Can you live with that? Six. What happens to the bet if there's a draw? Seven. The draw, nobody wins. All bets off. <laughs> Eight. Come on, Ronald. Harlan, I'd like to talk to you for a second, if I may. Talk? Yeah. Talk? I have better things to do, Ronald. Harlan, Harlan, now look, I would really like a moment of your time, if I may. Uh, Harlan, let's uh, step into my office. Very cute. Harlan, look, how does a draw sound to you? A draw? Yeah. Like a rat leaving a sinking ship. Ow! Harlan. Hi, it's me again. Look, uh, Harlan, I'm offering you a draw. I ask no quarter, and I give none. <laughs> Draw sounds good to me, man. I thought you'd reconsider. A draw? Ronald, the draw, you nuts, just knock the fop out. I can't. I have my reasons. It's just the way it's gonna have to be. I can't deal with them. You, you talk to him, Checo. Well, if the man has his reasons, that's good enough for me, too. A man's gotta do what he's gotta do. What do you know? Don't listen to him. Don't listen to him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Look, fight, fight like my life depends upon it, because it does. Please, don't let me starve. What? Leave the man alone. Very cute. Don't do that. you to feel how all this excitement has made my heart palpitate. Oh, well, and I'm so proud of you. You are proven to what and all that you are a brave man. I wish that I could believe that, Mary Lee. I do believe it. Conference points, Ronald. Uh, Harlan, we're going to have to stop meeting like this. Ronald, I think it's only fair to warn you. I've changed my mind. I will not settle for a draw. Harlan! Quit kidding around now. Ronald, it's not what I came here to do. <laughs> Harlan, now look, fun's fun. Of... <laughs> now look, I can knock you out anytime I want to now. So? <laughs> Harlan, I'm getting mildly irritated. So? face. The fight's over. You didn't get hurt, did you? All right, then perk up. Come on. Look at it like this. I mean, you still got your health, you got your wealth, you got all your teeth. I mean, that's more than Leon Spinks can say. <laughs> but come on. Give us a little smile. Come on. I got nothing to smile about, Ron. Nothing but a father. I wanted to prove myself a man, and I failed miserably. You? Are you kidding? Now, come on, you were no pushover. 
I mean, those punches of yours, they really stung. My punches stung? Yeah. Which ones, the right or the left? <laughs> well, they, they came so fast, it was hard for me to tell. Boxing manual recommended fast punching. I mean, no doubt about it, man. I, I took you too light. I really did. I mean, you're a tiger. It's a falsehood, Ronald, and we both know that. Thanks, anyway. Hey, it's no lie. I mean, the important thing is that you showed courage in the ring. I did? Yeah. You could have taken the easy way out. You could have taken the draw. But you didn't. Yeah, I did. I mean, you showed courage just stepping in the ring, knowing that I fought golden gloves. I did. Huh. I didn't know that. <laughs> Would it have mattered? No. But I probably would have had a paramedic in my corner. <laughs> Is really stung, huh? There you are, my shining knight. You have earned your iced tea. Shaken and not stirred. Mm. Mm. Oh, Harlan, you're all man and you're all mine.